Hello, my dear students. I, Harsh Rathor, Assistant Professor, Sage University, Bhopal. Today, I am going to discuss with you on course, Environment Studies and Disaster Management on topic, Ecosystem. So, let's start. Ecosystem. Different type of ecosystem of biosphere categorized as natural ecosystem and artificial ecosystem. Natural ecosystem further classified as land ecosystem and uh, aquatic ecosystems. Under land ecosystems, there are forest ecosystem, grassland ecosystem, desert ecosystem. Under aquatic ecosystems, there are pond ecosystems, ocean ecosystems, and estuary systems ecosystems. Uh, natural ecosystems operate by themselves under natural conditions without any major interference by men based upon the particular kind of habitat. These are further divided as terrestrial as a forest, grass strand, desert, etc. Aquatic which may be further distinguished as freshwater. Uh, freshwater may be either lotic or lantic. Lotic means running water has a spring, stream, river, or lantic means standing water has lake, ponds, pool, ditch, etc. Uh, even marine ecosystems has an oceans or shallow one like sea, etc. Artificial ecosystems are those ecosystems which are maintained by men, whereby additions of energy and plant manipulations. Natural balance is disturbed regularly. For example, cropland like maize, wheat, rice field, etc., where men tries to control the biotic community. Marine ecosystems, pond ecosystems, a pond has a whole serve a good example of freshwater ecosystems. The component of uh, ponds ecosystems, either a biotic component or biotic components. The AYT components include heat, light, pH of water, carbon dioxide, oxygen, calcium, nitrogen, phosphates, etc. And biotic components include uh, organization that constitute the biotic component are as follows. Uh, producers, these are green plants and some photosynthetic bacteria. They produce fixed radiant energy and convert it into organic substances as carbohydrates, protein, etc. Ponds ecosystems uh, producers are of following type. Macrophytes, these are large rooted plants which include partially or completely submerged hydrophytes. Uh, phytoplankton, these are minute floatings or submerged lower plants that is algae. Consumers of pond ecosystems, they are uh, heterotrophs, which depend for their nutrients on the organic food manufactured by producers. Primary consumers of pond ecosystems, bentos and zooplanktons. Bentos are animal associated with living plants, detrivores and some other microorganisms. Zooplanktons, these are chiefly uh, rotifers, protozoans, they feeds on phytoplanktons. Secondary consumers, they are carnivorous, which feed on herbivores. They are chiefly insects, fish, and most insects and water wetlands. Tertiary consumers, these are some large fish like uh, game fish, turtles, uh, which feeds on small fishes. Decomposers, they are also known as microconsumers. They decompose dead organic matter of both producers and animal to simple form. Thus, they play an important role in return of minerals again to the pond ecosystems. They are chiefly uh, bacteria and fungi. These are the pictorial descriptions of uh, pond ecosystems. Here we see uh, producers, plants, this uh, from plants, uh, energy is been transferred or uh, in secondary consumers, from secondary consumers to tertiary consumers and then decomposers. So these are the pictorial descriptions of uh, pond ecosystem.
oceans ecosystems oceans ecosystem are more stable than pond ecosystems they because they occupy 70% of earth surface aerobic component of oceans ecosystems are dissolved oxygen light temperatures minerals vital components of uh, ocean ecosystems uh, for one first is producers these are autotrophs and also known primary producers uh, they are mainly some microscopic algae besides them they are mainly sea feeds as a brown and red algae also contribute to the primary productions another uh, biotic components of uh, ocean ecosystems is uh, consumer they all are heterotrophic macro consumers primary consumers the herbivores that feed on producers are shrimps fish etc secondary consumers these are carnivorous fish as a hearing set mackerel feeding on herbivores tertiary consumers these include other carnivorous fish like cod cod halibut sea turtle shark etc decomposes the microbes activity in decay of dead organic matter of producers and animals are chiefly bacteria and some fungi there here is the pictorial descriptions of uh, ocean ecosystems one cell life then this is from shrimp like creatures from small fish mackerel tuna then large fish riverine ecosystems the producers of riverine ecosystems are the chief producers that remain permanently attached to from substrata are clean algae as uh, cladophora and aquatic mosses consumers of uh, riverine ecosystems the consumer so certain feature has permanent attachment to firm substrata presence of hook and suckers strictly under surface streamlined bodies flattened bodies thus a variety of uh, animal are found which are fresh spongy and caddis etc decomposers various bacteria and fungi like uh, and actinomycetes are present which act as decomposers these are the species in riverine ecosystems so that's it i hope you like this video we'll meet you soon